Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over how to enter item conversions into Optum Control. In Optum Control, you may set up an item for use in one way, such as weight, but you also might want to use it as a volume. To do that, we can add in item specific conversions. The first step is to go into an item. So we can navigate to the items view, which is in the inventory section in the main menu. And then from here, we can search up an item. Let's look at salt as an example. Right now, if you look at the item, it's currently set up by weight. This means that if you try to add it into a prep or a product, let's do that now, we can only use it by weight units of measure. But for something like salt, you might want to use it by teaspoon or tablespoon. To do that, we can put in a conversion. Now, if we look at the item, it's currently set up by weight, and there's no way to change this once the item is initially saved. So we'll put in the conversion by going into the tab here, and then we can click Add. We can go from 1 tablespoon to 18 grams. Once we click Save, we can go back to the prep, and we now see that teaspoon, tablespoon, quart, any volume unit of measure is now available. In this scenario, I knew the conversion from weight to volume. If you don't know the conversion, there are a couple different ways you can get it. You can weigh out the item yourself, uh, as weighed out in a teaspoon or tablespoon. Uh, you can Google the conversion, uh, or you can go into the nutrition tab and link it up to the USDA. So if we go to the nutrition tab, click link to, and search up salt, highlight that, click next, it'll give us any conversions that it knows about. We can check off any of those that we want to import, and then click finish. Once we do that, if we go into the conversions tab, that information will be there, and the nutritional information will also link up as well. This works the same if you have an item set up by volume and you want to use it by weight. You would just need another volume to weight conversion. If the item is set up as a unit, the base unit for that is going to be each. This means that for this item, whatever an each is defined as needs to be converted to the weight or volume that you're trying to get to. As an example, let's go into cucumber. This is set up by unit, but say we want to use it by a weight unit of measure. If we go into a conversion, this is another one that I know, we can add in a conversion from one each to 280 grams, and that'll then give us the ability to use it by either the entire cucumber or by the weight of it. That is how you add in a conversion for your item. Thanks for watching.